Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back to Vlogmas. So today I am actually feeling crap. I um, was up most of the night. I was up, I think it was 20 to 1 and I was downstairs and I still couldn't. The pains in my stomach and my head were just killing me. So I'm not actually recording a, such a video today and I hope you understand because I just feel crap. I just feel sick. That's the only way I can describe it is, do you know when you just feel sick um so what i had i had a sort of a small video recorded so i am going to put that up today um i did stayed up last night obviously i was feeling so sh shit last night i um i couldn't sleep couldn't do anything so i came downstairs and decided right i'm going to get a start on my office that's what i'm going to do because distraction my my head is if i distract myself enough i won't feel sick so it wasn't even sick, it was just, you know that horrible feeling where you were like, if I take a mouthful of water or if I take, I'm just going to get sick. So it was just that feeling of, I think I am, but I know I'm not, if that makes sense. I, I don't even know, but uh, yeah, no, it's not a nice feeling and I have a blinding headache today. Um, So I've just actually been going through stuff that needs to go in the bin in my office. That's what I've literally been sat there doing, listening to actually old-fashioned Christmas carols on the TV was just playing in the background and I thought I need to record a video and then I thought no I don't I have one recorded sorry the dog is oh <laughs> I dropped a treat and it was under my foot and God love me was trying to get it out so um anyway yeah. so in this video I am going it's to do with these candles now not particularly Yankee per se but you know these little candles you get now, when I pulled down my box of baubles yesterday to do the, oh, what you call it, the Christmas tree, I had this box and it was in the bubble box. So obviously I got this and I remember, I actually remember going in to get it. There was a great chat in the shop. I went into a secondhand store as I normally do in January because people hand in an awful lot of stuff in January. And they were talking about the candles and they were saying how messy they were and how hard they are just to burn a candle, you know, and it's, Especially, I suppose, maybe the demographic of the shop I was in, they were quite elderly. And they were like, they hate leaving the naked flame going and it was so easy for it to catch fire and stuff. So I picked these up. How many of them is there? Four, eight, twelve. So I picked these twelve candles up for one euro fifty after Christmas last year. So they're the, all the Christmas scents, Christmas Eve, Christmas cookie, um, evergreen mist, won't be burning that. Um, Christmas magic, snowflake cookie, excuse me, unwrap the magic candle, uh, holiday heart, Christmas morning punch, oh, Christmas morning punch smoothie. Um, so yeah, so there's only two in there that I won't burn, which is the singing carols, which is the evergreens, and what's that one, the evergreen mist, yeah, it's walking through a pine forest, I'm not burning that. So yeah, so I burned these. So I recorded a video for a, a, a girl who watches and goes on my lives with me and does all that, Lisa G. And one thing, she left a comment going, Tony, tell your mummy I was asking her to tell me what she does with the little candles when you can't burn them. So yeah, so this especially for you. The other thing is, if you get to the end of a jar of a candle, um, you know where it's down and there's bits left up the bits left up the side and stuff. I normally hack them off and throw them into my wax mug. I normally hack away at the candle and I, all the bits that come loose before I throw the candle out, I tend to um, throw into my wax melt. If I particularly like, like I have a lovely peppermint in one in there now and I just hacked away at it and got as much of the wax out as I could. Um, it was a big jar, it was one of the tall, really tall jars, but it burnt down the centre and left the sides. So yeah, if there's a candle you really like, don't ever take out the, don't throw it out with the stuff left in it. Hack it off and bun it, bur, throw it, bung it, that's what I was going to say, not burn it, bung it into a wax melt. I have an electronic one. Um, I just find them easier, they switch, automatic switch off after so long. So yeah, so um, 
yeah, into the video, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Please, God, I'm feeling a little bit better. And um, we'll be back to the declutter. Talk to you again, guys. Take care. All right, Lisa G, this is for you. So over Christmas, how many people get these small little candles with the wick? Sorry. The small little ones. You have to find a glass to burn them in. Or you have to find a dish that you can put them in. And then they burn and then you're left with the wax. Well, I find these a nuisance. So I do have a wax burner or wax melter. It's the black one from... Um, I think it's Yankee Candle. Anyway, I got it in Homestore more a while ago. And these are the cups that come with them. Now, normally they come full. You can literally, at the end, let me see if I can find one. Okay, I've just emptied this one, so I just popped it back in. So this is what they're like. The wax is melted in them. There's still a bit of fragrance. Now what I do is, normally when I pop these out, if there isn't, if the fragrance isn't strong, I will pop these out, and they usually come out fairly simple. And I will throw them into a drawer, a linen drawer, anything like that, and use it as a scent in, or hang them in, you can put a hole in it and hang it in your wardrobe. You know, be creative. Um, hang it on your tree if you've got a pine one. I don't like the smell of pine, but if you've got a couple of nice ones, you could hang them on your tree, give your tree a nice scent over the Christmas. But yeah, so literally you just pop that out, do what you like with it, and you're left with the empty container. Now, I know an awful lot of people throw these out because they think, oh, well, there's no smell left in the wax. Do not do that. Keep them. Pop the wax out and you can reuse them for other wax melts you buy. So, I'm going to show you what I do with these. Because these burn for, is it eight hours? Does it say on the bottom, maybe? I think it's eight hours they burn for. Anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this in my wax melt. Now I can put this on for 12 hours and the fragrance will stay strong because it's much more condensed than the wax melt. So I need to open this. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to pull the wax, not the wax, the wick out and I use it in my wax melts. Now if you only have one of the smaller ones, you know that burn, you burn the wax melt and there's a candle under it and they're not as deep as this. I mean that's fairly deep. Um, you could cut it in half and just use half of it. But that is what I do with them. And I always get gifts of these. And I never, ever have something to burn them in. Um, as in like a spare uh, glass or a spare anything, really. And then they end up sitting on the shelf and they never get used. And I thought one day, I just have to get rid of them. Like, as in, not get rid of them, but use them up. And this was the easiest way... And the strongest way to get the best scent out of them that I found. Now, you can use one half, which I'm probably going to do, and I'm probably going to put the other half of what's... Let me show you what's left over. So this is the bit that's left over. And as you can see, it's a good chunk. I know, Tony. So I am going to put that into a little 
Ziploc bag and I will use it maybe tomorrow or I can keep it for a couple of days. But literally that is how I use up and especially you can get so many nicer scents in the small candles than you can in the wax melts because some of the scents aren't done over onto the wax melts. So I am going to put that on now for 12 hours and yeah that's what I do with my small candles that I don't know how to use up Lisa. So that was especially for you because you've been on at me for what did you say over a year to show but that is literally what I do. I don't waste my time with putting them in glasses or anything. So Lisa, I hope that helps. I normally go around the charity shops in January and people normally give in those little gift sets of the Yankee candles because no one has a spare or no one knows how to burn them because they're messy. You need a cup, then you have to, all the wax melts and you're still left with the wax. So I find this the easiest, cleanest and best way to use up those little candles. And as I said, the scent in them is much stronger than in the wax melts and you can get a bigger variety. So that is what I do with my wax melts or my candles, Lisa. Hope that helped you.